Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 26 of the Orc Gunwag tutorial. Alright, uh, select this polygon in here. Inset it. Uh, point 8, so looks pretty good. Give it an outward extrusion of about point. We're about point 0.1. And select those. Select those edges and chamfer. Give them a chamfer of about 0 0.03. Inset it again. Okay. Um, bevel that one up a bit. Okay. Select those edges, chamfer. Alright. Polygon. I want to inset that one like that. Alright, extrude it about uh, two. Looks pretty good. Now, hinge from edge, pick hinge, a hinge, uh, 90 and 9. Okay, extrude. And extrude it about 5.4. Uh, select the edges, chamfer. Give it a relatively large chamfer. You can give this one multiple segments if you want. Alright, polygon, and extrude this one back just to give it the impression that it's a hollow tube or something. Select that edge there, loop, and chamfer that one with only one segment. Okay. Looks pretty good. Um. Next, let's mm, just rotate that one a bit. Mm. So you increase the size of this a bit. So scale it up like so. Um, now copy this, or copy all these to this side, okay, mirror, alright, and oop, just line them up again. Alright, good, and you can move these bit different directions. Okay, um, next let's build, um, some rivets. So, first we're going to build some right here. So, get approximately right there. You're going to want a height of about 0.16 and a radius of about 0.5. Give these eight sides, looks pretty good. Convert to edit to poly, polygon, select there, edges, chamfer. Okay, um, okay, and uh, select the interior polygon here, inset it a bit. Extrude by about point one five, select the edges and chamfer. Okay. Now just place them on here. And try not to use the just use the Z and the X axis so that you get some more randomness. Continue placing them. Alright, uh, 
on now let's copy one right here okay move it out a bit and here you can use the axes You can play some really at any intervals you want. There's no set way you have to do them. Wow. I'm gonna select all these and just clone them. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I build a box right about here and bring it out just a bit. Alright, convert to editable poly, polygon, select there, edges, chamfer. Alright chamfer just a bit and go to the vertex mode and just skew it a bit all right and then select one of these bring it over and scale it on the Z and X axis and a little bit on the Y Actually, you can scale on the Y too. Alright. And copy this in the four corners. Or however many corners you decide to put. Alright. So that piece is done. Now let's... Hmm. Let's build a. You can really build anything you want over here. I mean, I think I'm going to build a little container like thing. So, go to the cylinder, use auto grid, create a container shape, give it about 20 sides. Alright. I'll convert to editable poly and just bring it up a bit. Polygon, select the top and the bottom. And using the bevel tool, just create you know, an interesting shape. I like that shape. Alright, uh, now go to the polygon and just extrude the top one right up edit a little poly and then move it just before it touches right about there and let's see Ooh. okay go into the vertex mode bring these ones up use a hit the polygon select just the bottom one Hinge from edge, pick hinge, pick one over there. 90 and 9, okay. And just extrude that one right into the wall. And then for this one, hinge from edge, pick hinge, pick one over there. And just bring it down till it feeds right in there pretty nicely. And if you want, you can uh, just shrink it. I mean, all right, there we go. We have another little piece, and that'll be it for part 26. I'll see you in part 27.